This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Hello and welcome to Into the Multiverse. I am your host, Josh Peck. If you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure that you go and subscribe to this channel, click on the bell to always be notified, and in case YouTube still doesn't notify you, just know that every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a new episode of Into the Multiverse. So physicists have recently uh, created an oddity known as a quantum fractal, which is a structure that could reveal new and strange types of electron behaviors. Fractals are patterns that repeat themselves on different length scales. So if you zoom in, the structure looks the same uh, as if zoomed out. They're common in the natural world. So for instance, a bolt of lightning splits off into branches and each has the same forked structure as the whole bolt. But the quantum realm is so incredibly small that fractals aren't so easy to come by. But now scientists have artificially created a quantum fractal by placing carbon monoxide molecules on a copper surface. Now, electrons are confined between these molecules, and researchers have reported that the electrons in the copper create a fractal shape of triangles within triangles called a Sierpinski triangle. Now, technically, a full-fledged Sierpinski triangle would contain an infinite number of triangles, so the researchers created an approximation to that shape with enough triangles for its repeating structure to be evident. Now, what's really strange is electrons inhabiting a fractal don't exist exactly in three dimensions, at least not quite in the way that we are used to. They also don't exist in a flat two-dimensional world or a one-dimensional line. Instead, they occupy a weird in-between fractional number of dimensions. So in this case, the scientists found that the electrons lived in what would approximately be the number of dimensions expected for a Sierpinski triangle, which is 1.58. Imagine that, existence in one and a little over half a dimension. Uh, quantum particles tend to act in unusual ways when confined to one or two dimensions. Uh, physicist Christiane Maurice Smith of Utrecht University in the Netherlands says that scientists don't yet know how electrons will behave in, uh, in fractional dimensions, and also, quote, what can come out of our work is completely uncharted territory, unquote. So electrons are certainly strange and, in fact, uh, very, very weird things, very misunderstood at times. Uh, so think about this. Every time that you brush your hair, hundreds of trillions of electrons jump from uh, your hair onto the brush. And these particles are so small and so sensitive that it's almost impossible to handle them individually. Though interestingly enough, a group of scientists from Canada now have figured out a way to, to do this using an atomic force microscope. Uh, this newfound approach to manipulating individual electrons may one day find applications in future nanoscale electronics. Uh, atomic force microscopes are instruments commonly used by scientists to visualize things that are too small for optical microscopes to see. Their operating principle has been compared to uh, fingers rubbing against the surface with uh, braille lettering, except the finger of this instrument is a super fine tip just a few nanometers across. But even such a super sharp tip is still way too big to move an electron directly. It would be like trying to uh, move around a speck of dust using the top of the Washington Monument. So instead of trying to perform the task directly, the scientists brought, uh, brought the tip with, within a nanometer of a silicon atom, close enough for what's called Van der Waals forces to take place, which are a kind of uh, weak, short-range electrostatic uh, interaction. Uh, and this was used in order to change the orientation of the silicon atom. This is more like using the Washington Monument to tip over a teacup. It's still difficult, but it's at least sort of possible. <laughs> the new configuration then causes a single electron, either from the AFM tip or uh, from elsewhere in the underlying material itself, to join with the reoriented silicon atom. So the researchers uh, published their method in the journal Physical Review Letters, and according to the paper, most other ways of placing single electrons onto surfaces use uh, electric currents and voltages, 
which tend to create disturbances for other electrons in the material. This stuff is incredibly fragile. So the new method has the advantage of being purely mechanical and being able to place uh, single electrons that are stable uh, up to a few seconds. So again, electrons certainly are weird, but what do you think? What, what types of applications uh, could be developed with further research into electrons? Or are we going to get to the point in technology where we bypass electricity altogether? We don't use electrons, and maybe we use uh, photonic uh, devices and things like that. Maybe we'll use light in the future. Uh, what do you think about that? Is this research necessary, uh, or are... Are scientists just wasting their time with this kind of stuff? Make sure and leave me a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think. And once again, if you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you subscribe, click the bell to always be notified. Uh, and in case YouTube still doesn't notify you, just know every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. you will get a new episode of Into the Multiverse. All right, everybody, I can't wait to uh, read your comments. Uh, tell me what you think, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care and God bless. We've been told that America is a Christian country from its origin, one nation under God. We've been taught that our government is for the people, by the people. But what if it's all been just a grand deception? What if the God, worshipped in secret by government leaders in our nation's capital, is in fact our enemy? and many of our leaders have been venerating him secretly through arcane rituals, setting the scene for the incarnation of this ancient entity. They used the powerful energy of ninth degree sex magic through which the goddess Babylon herself might appear in human form. What if everything we thought we knew about this great nation was designed to bring about the greatest conspiracy of all time? a conspiracy for the souls of humanity. What if I told you that America was founded by the darkest elite secret societies and that there are still powerful remnants controlling hands in high positions carrying this torch? Dr. Thomas Horn, William Ramsey, Russ Dizdar. It's like God ripped open Hell's Kitchen and said, hey, here's some of the sequence of satanic evolution. Colonel Robert McGinnis, Wes Fall, Carl Tykrib, Justin Fall. It is the ritual that would ignite the resurrection of the Antichrist. Belly of the Beast. The holidays are rapidly approaching, and now's your chance to save big on the largest TV giveaway of the year. Skywatch TV is proud to announce the Belly of the Beast Grand Giveaway. In the brand new documentary, Belly of the Beast, you'll discover for the first time why a Bible is bound in a magic square inside the testes of the Washington Monument. Where and why a buried ancient magical obelisk awaits underground nearby. Where the entrance to a secret crypt exists connected to American Lucifer worship from within the deep state. And for the first time ever, the U.S. government-owned location where the Antichrist will be resurrected on a American soil. When you order Belly of the Beast from Skywatch TV, you'll also receive Lady Queensbro's celebrated original 1933 occult theocracy two-volume collection beautifully republished by Defender Publishing. These books are classic exposés on the secret societies, from witches to Knights Templar, Freemasons to Rosicrucians, Druids to the Illuminati, Masonic and Pagan symbols, Christian science, the Order of the Jesuits, and so much more. Dr. Thomas Horn says no serious researcher's library is complete without this massive two-volume collection. These two books alone hold a retail value of $80. Yours now, free when you purchase the Belly of the Beast Grand Giveaway. But we're just getting started. You'll also receive a gargantuan supply of brand new, super quality, overstock gift books, DVDs, audio sets, survival and organic living books, and more to add to your library or to give away as gifts this holiday season. Sold separately, this grand giveaway holds a retail value of over 
over $350. Yours now for your donation of only $35 plus shipping and handling. So don't delay. This avalanche of holiday gifts is perfect for the serious researcher in your life, but is only available while supplies last. So take advantage of this, the largest Skywatch TV giveaway of 2018, while you can when you order the Belly of the Beast Grand Giveaway. Now at the Skywatch TV store. Order online or call 1-844-750-4985. 